guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm talking about camp horror or horror set in camps and or the woods, which is the perfect vibe for summer. So let's get into it. The first is the quintessential camp set horror and that is Friday the 13th. So this is sent on a group of kids who are working on Camp Crystal Lake trying to reopen it for the summer and then they begin getting terrorized by a masked killer. This spawned the entire Friday the 13th series. It spawned Jason Voorhees. I personally actually am not a huge fan of the Friday the 13th films. I think I was when I was little. I'm more of a Freddy girl now. Then we have Sleepaway Camp. This is centered on a young girl who is sent to a camp after the tragic death of her family and people begin dying all around her. This one is known for its reveal towards the end of the film. I actually confession have not seen this movie yet but I do plan on watching it this summer it's on Tubi so then we have the final girls this is about a young woman whose mother dies and she reconnects with her by watching one of her horror movies and she's sucked into the movie so when she's reunited with her mother in her film she must team up with her to defeat the movie's sadistic killer and this is set at a summer camp then we have cabin fever this is about a group of friends who stay in a cabin in the middle of the woods when their trip goes horribly wrong after a flesh-eating virus begins infecting them one by one. This one is from Eli Roth. I really like this one. It has some really great effects. It has some horrific scenes that have stayed with me forever, including the infamous leg shaving scene. It's got some good deaths. It's got some really weird, bizarre moments, but overall, I just think this is a fun, woodsy horror movie. Then we have the Evil Dead series. First with Evil Dead, this is the Sam Raimi classic about a group of friends who stay in a cabin in the woods and they awaken the dead after reading the Book of the Dead. This one has some really iconic moments. It has amazing special effects, especially considering the time. And of course, Bruce Campbell is excellent as Ash Williams. And then I also recommend the remake that is just as dark, just as gory, maybe even a little bit more gory. This one has a lot of blood. So this is an updated version of Evil Dead. It centers on a group of friends who are staying in a cabin to actually help one of their own kick a drug habit. Then one of them reads the Book of the Dead and awakens an evil force all around them. I love that the character of Mia is very different from Ash, but she's just as strong. And I love seeing that strong, powerful final girl in the Evil Dead film and she just kills it. She's awesome and I just remember the beautiful scene of just it raining blood and her kicking ass. It's just iconic. So next we have The Burning. This is set at a camp where years prior a caretaker was seriously burned and injured and he's back with a vengeance to take care of all the kids that wronged him. You can't blame him, really, can you? Next is Lake Bottom. This has elements of an actual true crime that occurred. In the 60s, a group of campers were attacked in their tent with a knife and there was a lot of mystery surrounding it. So years later, this group of teens are staying at that campsite trying to reconstruct the crime and solve the mystery. And things go horribly wrong. Next is Cheerleader Camp, which has the best horror poster ever. So 80s, it's a girl, a cheerleader, but she's a skeleton. Love it. So this is obviously set at a cheerleading camp and it centers on a young girl who's having these horrific nightmares. She's worried about an upcoming cheerleading finals that happen, that's happening and people begin dying at the camp around her. And she starts to believe that she's responsible for the mayhem. Next, we have Stage Fright. This is set at a music camp where all the kids there are terrorized by a killer who hates musical theater love the concept. Then we have Don't Go Into the Woods. So this is about a group of four backpackers who head into the woods to hike the mountain and they're stalked by a killer because that's where they live. That's where killers live, guys. Don't go into the woods, especially if you're a woman. There's also Don't Go Into the Woods from Vincent D'Onofrio and it's a musical horror hybrid about a group of people who go into the woods and they begin getting killed off one by one. Then we have Dead Shack, which is a film that I think is very underrated. I never hear anybody talk about it, but I think it's a gem. This centers on a family who head into the woods for a family trip and the kids stumble upon this house next door and they discover that the woman who lives there is feeding 
people to her dead relative. She realizes her secret is out and she sets out to stop the kids from revealing her secret to everyone. So it's really a zombie survival story centered on this family and how this family works together to overcome the situation. It's just a light horror movie that is perfect for summer. Then, of course, you can't talk about going into the woods without talking about The Blair Witch Project. This is an iconic found footage horror movie about a group of student filmmakers who head into the woods to document the infamous Blair Witch, and they get lost, and they become the witch's target, and things go horribly wrong. A lot of people debate whether or not it's scary. I find it scary, especially the moments at night. It's dark. You're vulnerable to the elements and whatever's out in the woods a lurking around. It's just so scary and effective and simple. And that's what works so well about it, and I love it so much. Then we have a movie called The Pool. This centers on two families who go camping illegally in a part of the woods that's far, far away from the big city. Then eventually this family stumbles upon this pond that has this mysterious force around it, which doesn't allow them to leave. Then we have Madman. This centers on a summer camp where the camp counselors are being killed off one by one by a mysterious madman. Man. And honestly, you can't go to camp and not expect an axe-wielding murderer to show up and want to kill you. Next, we have Fear Street 1978. This is set at a summer camp where a group of kids are being killed by a maniac with a, an axe. There's a pattern here with all these horror movies. What I love about this story is it just captures the essence of 70s horror movies and the essence of summer camp horror. I love that it centers on family, these two girls and their female relationships and how these two sisters work together to overcome their differences and fight together and fight for their lives. I love the cast. Sadie Sink from Stranger Things is in this. She's excellent. I cannot wait to see anything, everything she does, because she's so good in this. And lastly, we have Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. This is a horror comedy about a group of college kids who are headed into the woods for a little getaway, and they encounter Tucker and Dale, who they mistakenly assume are psychotic hillbillies who will kill them. I love that this horror movie takes horror tropes and flips them on their heads, so it completely subverts expectations, and it gives us two of the most lovable hillbilly rednecks in horror we've ever seen. In Tucker and Dale, they're just the sweetest guys ever, and I love that it has a lot of commentary about stereotypes and not judging a book by its cover and all of that, and it's just, it's funny, it's smart, it's creative and clever, and I just think it's the perfect campy, woodsy horror movie. And there you have it, that's a list of some camp set woodsy horror movies to watch throughout the summer to give you those summer vibes. Let me know what movies on the list you enjoyed or you plan on checking out. Please let me know your recommendations for more camp set horror movies because I can't get enough of this stuff. And thank you so much for watching guys. I will catch you next time. Bye.